Hey everybody, I'm Dan Herring. My channel is FishDen365 and welcome back to another Top Water Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the Hedden Meadow Mouse. So the meadow mouse is one of my favorite topwater lures, even to this day, because it catches giant fish. It's, I don't think it's a very popular lure. I don't see other people using this bait very much other than my brother and I use it. And it's specifically good during low light, early morning, evening, as the sun's going down, and then again, all night long, overnight, it's good then too. It, it has a special wobble on the surface it's almost like a wake bait in but it also so you have you have this metal lip and so that allows the bait to somewhat go nose down just a little bit and but at the same time it's wiggling and wobbling and it has this really exaggerated wiggle and wobble to it and so it makes a big disturbance on the surface of the water if you're reeling it real slow and that's how this thing works you want to reel it real slow just have that steady retrieve on the surface every now and then you might want to stop and go with it because it'll stay on the surface if you do and it catches large bass this this is a big bass lure you know i don't catch tons of fish on this lure but the fish that i do get on it are always good sized very rarely do i get little fish on this bait it just seems to attract big fish and I think a lot of that is the action that it imparts. So here's a here's a clear one. This is how they come out of the package and again like we talked about last week when we were talking about the the uh, Fred Arbogast jitterbug and the week before or a few weeks before we talked about the Zara Spook. They have this uh, hardware here that I don't like because that's what happens. You don't get any free swinging on the hooks and so a bass or a fish can wedge itself off this one is one that my brother uses. It's a semi, semi modified one. What he's done is he took the hardware off. Actually, he left the hardware on and put a split ring there. And so now these hooks swing more freely. Now they can still get locked up a little bit, but you can see that's a big difference from, from this guy. So, and another thing you can do, you can always use two small split rings, which gets it further away from this hardware. That's another way you can fish the bait. Or you can do the modification that uh, I typically do on my Zara Spooks and on my Jitterbugs. And that is, I take that hardware off, I replace it with a little eye bolt. And when I do put that, when I screw that eye bolt in there, I also glue it in. So I use epoxy, I mix the epoxy up, I put it on the bolt, and when I'm putting it in, I screw that into the bait. That way it's locked in for good once I have it set the way I want it. And then when I, when I have that, then I can just put a split ring on that and then I get completely free swinging hooks. And I have three metal mice here. I think these are the last three that I have. I've got a field mouse color one here with a tanned belly. Another one field mouse on top, but pearl on the bottom. And then we got another a gray mouse, gray, gray back and a lighter belly. And these are all ones that I need to modify yet. But it's the same kind of modification that we do with the Zara Spook and the Arbogast. I'll put that, that video up on what I do with the Zara Spook. You want to try and center the, uh, the hardware. So you can see these two holes here. That was from the hardware here. So I'll put the, I'll glue those holes shut and then I will put the, the eye bolt right in the between there. And I'll do the same on the back. Glue these holes shut, put the eye bolt right in the middle. That way it's balanced the same way as the original bait. And because of that, it'll, it'll float right and work correctly when you're retrieving the bait. And, and you won't have this uh, crazy configuration where you can get the fish to, uh, to wedge off your lure. And this one catches big fish, so you don't want that to happen. Very good bait in shallow water environments. Works well in ponds and farm ponds. It, it tends to do really well. But it works everywhere. Right? It's a good bait to throw along banks, sometimes like a bluff bank. You know, some little critter like this can fall off the bank, land in the water, and you can parallel a bluff bank with one of these things, and you'd be surprised at what comes up and eats it sometimes, some very big fish. So 
if you uh, I'm really curious to know if anybody out there that is part of the uh, fish den 365 nation if they fish these or not and and what your experiences are with this bait I don't think a lot of people fish it but somebody out there I'm sure is aware of this bait and has fished it love to know what you think of it what your experiences have been and if you do any modifications with the with the hook arrangements so please comment and share those things if you have the opportunity to do so the other thing about the meadow mouse is it has this leather piece for a tail i think this is leather a piece of leather that's uh, mounted to the back of the lure and you know that lasts a long time some of these lures are extremely old this one's been around for a really long time and uh, that leather just lasts and lasts you know it soaks up some water but it dries out and it looks good in the water it, it looks just like a tail and aids in that uh, as this bait is swimming and wobbling that tail I think is a good attractor and if you do the stop and go well then it you know it looks just like a mouse tail hanging down there and if fish are in a situation or in an environment where they have an opportunity to eat field mice and, and chipmunks and that kind of thing then you can see where this bait can come in uh, play it's 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 sized almost exactly like the size of a mouse and so it it does a good job i believe of representing uh, that bait in the water if you have some of these and you haven't tried them give them a try you might be surprised at the at the, the quality of fish that you catch i i don't know if these are in production or not uh, anymore what i'll do is i'll check when I'm done making the video and I'll comment in the description whether or not this is still in production or not. It might be, if it's not, I'm sure you can get them on eBay. I kind of don't think they're in production anymore, but I really don't know, I haven't looked for any. And so well, I'll, uh, I'll let you know in the description of the video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, got something of value out of it. If you did, please uh, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Looking forward to bringing you another Top Water Tuesday next week. Hopefully, i uh, be getting out in the water this weekend. If I do, we'll be doing a video based on that. And looking forward to getting back out again. It's been quite a while. Remember, we're all about the art and science of fishing, especially bass fishing. We're certified, bassified, and as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.